It's your girl Alison and I'm here to wish you all a very happy 2021. In the spirit of New Year, I thought I would share with you one of my beautiful Sticky Harissa Lamb Rib Recipes. This is ideal for your New Year's party. It's great with beer and it's a good starter when you're having those people over to help you celebrate the New Year. So let's start with what a lamb flap is. So this is where we get our ribs from. So here we have a lamb flap. So I've broken this down earlier. Let's just run through where everything's from. So this is the loin. This end is where your loin would sit. And here is where your rack of lamb would sit. So the rack of lamb is from this, your ribs, and the loin is lower than that. So it's all from this area of the lamb. This cut normally butchers would put into maybe mince or sausages, but they are so flavoursome if you use them in the right way and you cook them correctly. So go to your local butcher, ask them for a, a, ribs, a, a rib plate and they will cut them for you. But I'm just going to demonstrate to you how it's done. Very simple. So this is a skirt. I'm going to remove that. That's the skirt, I'll place it there. Using your nice breaking knife to break that cartridge. So here we go, straight down. I'm using the end just to break that cartridge and straight down to square it off. So you can trim that up and place it into your trim bowl and use it for some lean mince or some hamburgers. So I'll put that there. Then we're left with something that's a little bit more squared up, but we're going to go even further than that and square it up here. Then we're left with more trim. So I'm going to place that there again. Then you can see that we've got some intercostals running through the centre of each bone. Then the fat on the other side, if you feel like it's a little bit too fatty, you can trim that up a little bit. So I'm going to do that. Just take a bit of the fat off there. Then I'm going to start to section these off. So cut in between each bone. Okay. There we go. Beautiful lamb rib. Look at that. They do look gorgeous in a cabinet just as they are sometimes. I place them like that. Use the base of your knife, it's just cartilage, so it's easy to cut through. Use the base of your knife again, cut through the cartilage, there we go. Again, cutting through that cartilage at the end. And we have some beautiful lamb ribs. So you can either throw that in or just leave it to the side. Then what I do is I grab my pan and what we're going to do is we're going to make a nice little dry rub to sprinkle over these lamb ribs. So let's place them in the tray. Okay, so after we've done that and we've placed our lamb ribs onto our baking tray, which is quite shallow, we're going to make up a beautiful dry rub. So in this dry rub, I've chosen to use Harissa, Rose Harissa paste. So Harissa paste is something that uses, it's a paste that uses red chilli peppers, cumin, caraway seeds, garlic, but Rose Harissa is a lot more fragrant. So it, it, it's subtle and it adds a beautiful fragrance as you eat it. So I'm going to set that aside and make up our dry rub. So what goes into our dry rub is around a teaspoon of ground ginger. Let's do that. Let's make it two. Two teaspoons of paprika. So I chose to do the nice smoky paprika for this recipe. Two teaspoons of that. I love the smell. And then a good pinch of salt. 
So then we make that into a nice dry rub. So mix well. Then we get our ribs that I've placed on the shallow tray. I've preheated my oven to 160 degrees. And I'm going to sprinkle this onto my lamb ribs. It smells delicious. There we go. So give it a good coat, be nice and generous. Then I'm going to let that sit overnight or I'm going to let it sit for around an hour in the outside of the fridge. Uh, so it's at room temperature or you can sit it overnight uh, in this dry rub which would be ideal because it would soak up the flavours a lot better. So after this and I'll leave it an hour and I'm going to place into my oven for 160 degrees for around an hour and a half to two hours. So after two hours in the oven at 160 degrees, nice and slow and long, we have our beautiful caramelised uh, lamb ribs. The fat's rendered down and the meat you can see is quite soft. So once that's done we put that aside and now we will make our marinade for the top that we're going to baste it with as we cook it. So I have a small bowl here and a beautiful harissa paste. So as I said before the harissa paste has rose petals and rose water through the paste which softens the kick of the normal harissa paste. It adds an unexpected floral counterbalance I feel and it, it, it takes away that spicy, smoky, peppery uh, flavour from, from the harissa paste. So let's do two teaspoons of that. Then I have some honey, so I've got some local honey here and I'm going to add two tablespoons of that to our small bowl. It smells delicious. And once we've done that, I'm going to add a pinch of salt. It's about two tablespoons there. A pinch of salt. And then a lemon. I'm going to squeeze a lemon. I just do that with my hands. There we go. Using a small spoon, just mix it into a nice paste. Look at that. It smells delicious. Florally. I do like it. So as we cook our barbecue for New Year's Eve, I'm going to baste, use this paste to baste the ribs as we go. Cook them for a couple of minutes each side and then they're ready to serve. You can also put them in the oven for at 180 degrees for maybe four to six minutes and they'll be cooked as well. So there's two options, the barbecue or the oven. That's delicious. So I hope this helps you celebrate what has been a very interesting and eventful 2020 and I wish you all the best for the coming year and thank you again for all your support and I look forward to seeing you all in the new year. Please if you need any uh, branding done for your beef brands or cooking demonstrations don't hesitate to contact me through my uh, website www.butchergirlallison.com or follow me on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. Alright, all the best everyone. Thank you.